Hi, welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. Today we want to continue the discussion of an increasing annuity. Uh, remember the problem we had last time was that we placed $100 at the end of each month into a savings account that paid a certain rate. We, wanted, we found the value at the end of uh, two years. We actually did a simulation down here that uh, showed how to calculate uh, the final value, but we did it by looking at all the intermediate uh, months. While this has uh, certain advantages, if you were trying to do some planning for, say, 40 years or 30 years, there's a lot of months involved in that. And so you don't necessarily want to see all the internal details. What you would just like to do is to find the final amount. Okay, so let's go back to our template and we'll see how to calculate that uh, all in one step. So we'll look at the future value. All right. Now, Excel has a built-in formula that allows us to calculate that future value. And it's a pretty simple one to remember. You start with an equal force and it's just FV for future value you put the parentheses there, it prompts you uh, to fill in the various values. So first of all, the rate here refers to the rate per period. So that would just be, the, in this case, the rate per month. Put a comma to go to the next parameter. In per means number of periods. So this will be the total number of periods involved. Payment, of course, is the, in this case, monthly payment. Now, I'd like to tweak this a little bit because remember we talked previously about cash flow so I would like my future value to come out and look like a positive number so I'll start this with a minus sign before I put the deposit value in. Now the rest of the parameters here depend upon some things that we're just going to ignore like present value means that what would happen if you had a certain amount of money already in the account that you were going to start and add it to? We'd have to take that into account with a compounding situation. And then the last parameter type refers to whether or not it's an ordinary annuity or if it's going to be what's called an annuity due. And so we're going to ignore annuity dues and just look at ordinary annuities. So this is, uh, to close that off with the parentheses, and so this should give us the same value that we had down here in cell G28, the uh, 2494.29. Okay, so uh, that gives us a quick way to always compute the future value of an ordinary annuity. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Next time we're going to take a look at how you do these calculations with the TI calculator.